Eh, you know what? This one I may want to go down first. Like so. Like so. Bring this, bring the next one up a little. And bring this one. And then we'll end it with a nice little, and you know what? I don't like that position right there. So I'll bring it there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go down to the pen tool again. I'm just gonna bring that down like this. Right now it doesn't matter what you get on it. This can, this can be the sloppy part down here. You will not see this part in the end. And, uh, whoops. I'm gonna wrap it behind this blue. And I'm gonna make this a selection now. Hit OK. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up, unselect my outline because I forgot to make a color palette of this color. Reselect the outline. And I'm gonna go back to my my white wave here, my white snow wave. And I'm just gonna color over it. Okay, now that's the part that doesn't look too good to me. So actually what I should have done instead is I'm going to control out to Z this. And to make this easier on myself and everyone else, I'll just make selection. And I will just delete that. Now it will match this. I can erase this part without having to worry about anything. So let me deselect this. Um and grab to my eraser tool just to erase. And I like this to fade out a little. Same with the front. I want it to fade in. But you know what? This wave there's something wrong with the wave right there to me. That that doesn't look anything like a wave. So I'm just going to select a spot somewhere on the wave, bring it down to there, bring it here, 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 me. Whoops. And let me uh, reconvert this just to give it a wave effect. So I'm going to my pen tool now. I will delete these. Oops, I just made an acre point now. An acre point will add to your ex existing line. I'm going to right click. I'm going to make this a selection. Hit OK. And I'm just going to delete it. Deselect. And uh, you know what? There's still something wrong with this wave. So I am going to go here now at the top of this crescent. I'm just going to click the spot right here here and I'm gonna make this wave just look more natural by reconverting this and right right there do this that reconnect it make selection and we're gonna delete that okay obviously this isn't the best wave still but it will do for me and now what I want to do is I do not like these hard edges so what I usually do is I take my blur tool always have it set to hardness to zero I will bring up the size to about 29 actually let me just make this a hard 30 and I always select this first one I do not like the hard brushes I like the soft brush and I'm just gonna go around these edges once I do I thought I'm gonna go around once and end it where I started okay that this right here though that's gotta go I I don't like that so I'm just gonna select somewhere right there 
what I'm gonna do now is just uh, you know what we'll make this easier on myself actually I'm gonna go right delete path we're gonna zoom in we're gonna grab our eraser tool now just that's too big actually I'm gonna go down and just delete Oops. I'm just gonna create my own arc if I can get it perfect okay this is not as easy as I want it to be alright I'm gonna retake my board tool board up there we go uh, that you can see that has worked onto it um, there's a way to hide it but I'll show that later and um, you know what I'm thinking this wave just won't do anymore in the project this says not doesn't doesn't look the way I was hoping it would anymore so I'm gonna delete it all right um, I want a type of tail logo but I don't know what so I'm gonna go into my airline logos and um, this is not my airline logos folder um, I just wanna add something random um, how about we add a uh, just a giant sky team logo now this is a EPS format which lets me open this file any size I want and it won't reduce its quality so I'm gonna open this up at 10 and um, just select my magic eraser tool and the website I get these from for vector images is brands of the world I will put a link in there for you and uh, let me just erase this the uh, um, this TM mark okay sky team um, bring this onto the tail now and we'll just select a decent size and voila I think that's decent not too big not too small and um, in the meantime I will go down and hate I this is one thing I hate about this now you don't have to do this this is just my pet peeve I do not like how this comes down because this will wrap onto the fuselage and it, it, I just hate the effect so what I do is I go into the tail I'm gonna select this line right here or the leading edge is what it's called and I am gonna zoom on out I'm gonna select my pen tool put a waypoint here and here I'm gonna go down to my convert and simply just make the arc of the tail which is that and now with my pen tool I'll just create it around this bring it back to where I first started I'll make that a selection and I'm gonna delete that off this way it'll end on the wing not on the wing on the tail you know look fine to me alright so this will be my basic livery this is the creation I've come up with that looks fine to me I would be pleased alright so we're gonna zoom on in here now and for the final touches I wanna add my flag here oh, what did I do? okay I wanna add my flag right here with my um with this so I'm gonna right click and rasterize to allow me to merge these two together oops